For the first time, Russia has flown an Su-57 stealth fighter using an entirely new engine, and this changes everything about how Russia plans to build, export, and scale its fifth-generation fighters. For the first time, an Su-57 fighter has flown with the newly developed Product 177 engine, a power plant created by Russia's state-owned United Engine Corporation, or UEC. According to general designer and director Evgeny Marchukov of UEC, the engine performed normally and demonstrated reliable operation during flight tests as part of the Su-57 platform. This confirms that Product 177 is no longer just a paper project, but a real flying engine integrated into Russia's most advanced fighter. So what exactly is this new engine? What are its capabilities and why did Russia create it? Especially when their very capable AL-51 engine, or is Delia 30 which means Product 30 already exists. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, and I'll answer them in this video. More importantly, what does this mean for SU-57 production, exports, and long-term sustainability? The Product 177 engine was designed to incorporate newer technologies, updated materials, and more efficient design solutions compared to older Russian fighter engines. It represents a significant improvement over previous generation power plants such as the AL-41F1, the engine currently used by the SU-35S, and also installed on the early production batches of the SU-57. These early SU-57 were never meant to permanently rely on the AL-41 but instead serve as interim engine until the AL-51 becomes fully mature and entered stable serial production. Product 177 is estimated to produce around 16,000 kilograms of thrust and features lower fuel consumption across all flight modes, along with a longer service life. On paper, it's a clear upgrade over the AL-41. However, the big question everyone is asking is whether Product 177 is better than the AL-51. The answer is no. The AL-51 remains Russia's most advanced engine ever designed for the Su-57. It's a two-shaft, low-bypass, after-burning turbofan engine delivering around 108 kN of dry thrust and up to 167 kN with afterburner, roughly 17,000 kg of thrust exceeding product 177. The AL-51 was specifically engineered to unlock the SC-57's full performance potential, including superior supercruise capability, higher thermal efficiency, and maximum stealth-compatible power output. However, that extreme performance comes at a cost. The AL-51 uses highly advanced materials such as single-crystal turbine blades, cutting-edge thermal barrier coatings, and operates at extremely high turbine inlet temperatures. It also requires very tight manufacturing tolerances and advanced precision machine tools. All of this makes the AL-51 complex, expensive, and difficult to mass-produce, especially under sanctions that restrict access to advanced manufacturing equipment and high-end industrial tooling. The low number of SU-57 produced last year was probably due to bottleneck production of the very advanced AL-51 engine, and the Russian Airspace Force has strictly indicated to United Aircraft Corporation that they wouldn't accept any SU-57 anymore equipped with AL-41 engine. This is exactly where Product 177 comes in. It is not a replacement for the AL-51, but a parallel development path. Product 177 sits between the older AL-41 and the cutting-edge AL-51. It is more advanced than the AL-41, but deliberately less complex than the AL-51. This makes it cheaper, easier to manufacture, and far more suitable for large-scale production using Russia's existing industrial base and established supply chains, just like how they can mass-produce the AL-41 engine efficiently. Another major advantage is service life. Both the AL-41 and the AL-51 typically require major overhaul after around 6,000 flight hours. Product 177, by contrast, is expected to reach around 8,000 flight hours before overhaul. This is achieved through lower turbine temperatures, more conservative stress margins, and reduced reliance on the most advanced and hardest to manufacture components. For an Air Force operating dozens or even hundreds of aircrafts, this translates into massive long-term cost savings and higher operational availability. There is also a very important export dimension to this engine. Product 177 is almost certainly intended to power the Su-57 e-export variant. Russia is unlikely to export the AL-51 due to the risk of leaking its most advanced engine technology or allowing foreign intelligence services to study the Su-57's full stealth performance envelope. 
This mirrors how the United States strictly controls access to the F-35, only allies allowed to buy the aircraft, and why both the U.S. F-22 and China's J-20 are not allowed to be exported. Russia is actively pitching the Su-57E to potential buyers such as Algeria and possibly India. Offering an export stealth fighter powered by a fourth-generation engine like the AL-41 would not be particularly attractive. Product 177 solves this problem by delivering a modern, capable engine that significantly outperforms older designs while avoiding the most sensitive AL-51 technologies. It is essentially a scaled-down but still advanced version of the AL-51, powerful enough to justify a fifth-generation label, yet simple enough to produce and export safely. Looking ahead, it's very likely that Russia will produce a mixed Su-57 fleet. Top-tier frontline units would receive Su-57s powered by the AL-51. Standard units could operate Su-57s equipped with Product 177. Early production Su-57s currently using the AL-41 may eventually be upgraded to either engine or retain their existing configuration to reduce costs. Export Su-57E fighters will almost certainly rely exclusively on Product 177 unless a customer specifically requests the older AL-41 to further reduce acquisition costs. In short, Product 177 is not a downgrade. It's Russia's solution to scale, cost, exports, and sanctions. It keeps Su-57 production moving, opens the door to foreign sales, and ensures the program doesn't stall behind a single high-end engine bottleneck. And that makes this quiet engine test one of the most important developments in Russia's fighter program so far.